I'm careful now because I will get level 2 before you. Because yeah, I can go snow. So see how you can cheese people just by getting level 2 before them? Yeah. Oh, I see it here. Well, so to begin with, you have the wrong runes on Jax. I don't know if you picked <laughs> those on purpose. Okay, not lethal tempo is not the way to go. You, but you don't have lethal tempo. What did I pick? You have lead footwork. Oh, yeah, that's okay. So the reason I picked that was because I seen Nice in a video tell, pe tell uh, people that he plays fleet footwork on Josh because he likes the in and out potential kind of thing. What the hell? I guess. Yeah. So oh. I thought I'd try it. I'd try it. And yeah, as you can see, it did not work. <laughs> well, oh my God. How, where to even uh, begin? <laughs> much as i love facing against silvers like do you no <laughs> not when i'm not not when i'm at the scale that i'm at it's like well so i watch some youtube videos so like oh yeah low elo like gold and platinum and i'm like bro like what does that make me then <laughs> well uh, you would be considered a new player no not not like low elo per se you know i guess you haven't like played a lot yet it's not like you're gonna be stuck here for any longer because you're gonna probably claim really so it's not the same one like there's a guy with platinum and, and you know 2000 games in platinum right no that's fair i like i just want to get out of iron right now like that's my biggest oh goal. you're really close it's <clears throat> so what i wanted to start with today is like doing some top lane matchups so that you learn to right. when to try when to use each ability like because i think that's a thing that's still lacking so mm. let me log into an a real quick and what I want to do is I think I will play set in a couple and you will play set in a couple. So you see both sides, okay. how it should look like. Uh, I played Darius when I very first started League and then I got introduced to set and then I just I just kept playing set. I see Malphite a lot more lately. Especially when he goes Arcane Comet and he just fucking cues you to your fucking half health. Arcane Comet shouldn't be an issue for you because you have a lot of health reach and if you go Darn Shield and Second Wind. Yeah. When you're playing against a champion like Malphite that either has Comet or Grasp, the logic is the same. Both Comet and Grasp have a cooldown, and when I don't have the map, you're stronger. Whereas your runes, mm -hmm. you're stronger over time. So what you want to do is extend the trades. What I want to do is do short trades, right? How do you right. extend the trades? By pulling pulling me in and making me keep going when I want to go for a short one. Like, I want to go for a short trade, but you pull me in and keep going. Well, like, the crappy thing is, like, his Q just outranges my E, so I feel like I could just never get close enough to pull him in for... There's two plays at some of I'm not doing that because I'm not going Comet. If I go Comet, then yeah, mm -hmm. the E is a lot of... The Q is a lot of poke, but the issue is, if I go for that setup, you can perma go for reach and with Thoran Shield and, and second win, so... Okay. And see how I disengage immediately, short trade and leave. Mm -hmm. So I should have grabbed you then when I had Yeah, the exactly. And now I have shield back up in, in 8 seconds, so I'm not trying to be aggressive until I have my shield back up. Right, exactly. And I try to disengage here. So the issue for you there is that instead of you going in first, you, you maybe let me go in first. The other thing here was that you should hit the way to get level 2 first also, because that's when you can punish me the most. And now you're playing set? Yeah. Okay, okay. Darius. I think I'll play Darius. Uh Darn Shield. So so what's your uh what's your main lane? It's bot ADC lane, right? Mode, yeah. Jungle as well. But I play top lane just fine. And what what do you like about ADC? Why why ADC? I think uh there's just no good ADC player, so it's the role that I can gap people and stomp them the most easy because it's yep. the role where most people are lacking a lot. Ah, uh, I see. I thought they were gonna speed up the minions, so like no, the side not in the first wave, up. only in the waves after the first one. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Yeah. So now you have conquer, so we both like extended traits. Yeah. So remember what we wanna do here is both of us wanna hit level two first. Darren, you leveled up so you could go in on me. We both leveled up. Oh, 
And see how I'm abusing the ghost? I'm going in. Okay. Jeez Louise. And now because you don't have flesh, you better be careful because I can always do this and just kill. Yeah. Okay. I see. Okay. But see how he ghosted and abused the ghost plus the lethal tempo pool is stacked and I keep going in and going in and going in. Like, yeah. it's what I always don't. try to teach you about set. So let's do it again. I want to keep teaching right. you how set should look like, okay? Don't back off. I mean, if I have lethal tempo stacked and you're out of position and I have ghost, I can, even if I didn't kill you, trading my ghost for your flash is really good because then I have flash and you don't. I feel like seeing how it should look like from the point of view of the enemy is one of the best ways to learn as well. Yeah. This was this uh, helped me out when I was learning. Say the same here. I I have to see it to like understand it because like, uh, like if people are just like, oh yeah, you just do this, this, and this. I'm like, okay, well. Uh -huh. All right. We focus the wave. We also try to trade with each other. We try to get level two and do something with it. Be careful with that. See, and now I space out. Of, see how I run away after using the E on you because I have no cooldown, yeah. but you do, so I just run away, right? Yeah. So again, I can go for ghost here because I, you have no Q, see? So see, that's the same issue. If you commit and you have no Q, yeah. that's why in a matchup like this, maybe you shouldn't be the, the one that uses the Q first, right? Because then I can just keep chasing because you commit. And see how I hold my W for the best moment in which I will do most damage and blocking yeah. your damage, right? So now you pick set this time and I'll go with Arius, okay? Let's see if you have okay. a, if you're gonna play. Punch, punch, punch. Well, so if it's a ranged matchup, I pick Doran Shield. If it's a melee matchup, I pick Doran's Blade. Okay. So one of the things I will do differently than you is probably I will start W instead of Q because I don't know if you remember how I was with the set pull I was making so that you couldn't hit the edge of Darius W. Darius Q I mean. Yeah. Right? Right. <clears throat> Darius looks smaller without a skin. I don't know what's up. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so hitting the way to get W first. Also, W is more damage early if you reset the auto. I don't know if you knew that there is W is an auto attack reset, same as set. Yeah. So you and always... people say you can use it to farm. Yeah. So see how he did auto attack and then W and run away. So you get slowed and you can't replay the trade, see? Yeah, I see. Yeah, because if you last hit a minion with W, it will reform the cooldown and the mana. So it's really nice. Yeah. So there you were level 2 and you didn't do anything with it. Now I'm getting it too, though. and then I run away I don't die but good, good aggression I like it if it was a Darius on your healer you, I probably die there because I wouldn't respect the aggression enough yeah good good ah! yeah the slow <laughs> but good good I like it now the only thing you gotta be careful with is that I know that you don't have summoners and I do right yeah Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> you know, a Darius in your heal is not gonna do that. So as you can see, I'm, I'm like many levels down. So the one thing I know is that you will run at me and you don't have flash and ghost. That's the only thing that's keeping me alive. If you had flash or ghost, I'd never stay with this HP, right? Yeah. So I know you're running at me with Q. So I, what I do is match your speed of Q with my ghost so you can catch me. See, and, and I space out. It's called spacing out, which means leaving your stun range, right? Yeah. So after I leave your stun range, then the only thing you can do is auto attack and double you. So the first thing I do is healing, because I want to slow you, okay? But if I yeah. go in to slow you with an auto attack, you're going to kill me with a punch. So yeah. the first thing I do is just heal myself with a Q. Right, and then I can, see, I survive the auto attack because of that, and then I just slow you and run away. Right. See, I slow and flash away. So now you're slowed and stunned under tower and I can just outplay that. Yeah. <laughs> so the way you can outplay that is by not getting tower aggro until after I heal, okay? But I like how you're abusing more when I have no cooldowns, being more aggressive and going in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because like I think that was one of my problems before, like I'd be 
aggressive but at the wrong times and then right. I would get ganked and it's then tracking just... the cooldowns is really important another thing is that in this matchup what you're noticing is that I'm going door and blade but you're going door and shield that means that if you just trade and leave you will eventually heal up more than me and then you can trade again and again instead of having to all in at full HP if we both yeah. all in at full HP I win because I have more damage than you but you have more right. sustain so if you just chill and go short trade short trade and, and slowly trade with me then you will end up yeah. healing way more because you also have a healing passive right so what, the way you should be playing this is like going more for trades and less for all ins see how when you go for a cs i already take the audio and then you can't trade with me anymore yeah I'm paying attention to where you're going for when you're going for a CS. See the the value of turning the W is much higher. Yeah. And careful now because I will get level two before you. So see I can go now. So see how you can cheese people just by getting level 2 before them? Yeah. So what, what happened see. there? You allow me to get level 2 before you and then I just ghost and I am patient. What I did is leveling up my E instead of my Q. So the E yeah. will match the flash that you flash away. Right? Right. So instead of starting did you ghost? Q, I flashed. But did you ghost? No. Right. So that's why also you died. If you ghost you will get out of my pull range and I can't pull you. Right. So remember how I, I guess I out thought of... I was close enough to the tower and then. It... Right, but remember how I ghosted out of your pool range earlier? Yeah. So kill me here so we get the same money and we keep going. Okay. So we don't have to restart. And I guess we both reset. You don't have items, right? So eh. I won't get items either then. So we keep going. Because I want to do later levels as well. Okay, good. You pulled me out of the queue, so the queue doesn't... One thing you should do, maybe, is when I'm using Q, you can also use your W, so the Q doesn't do damage. That's also another choice mm. you have. <clears throat> so see how you started pushing against me now, instead of letting it freeze on you? And now I can freeze on you, and if you come to farm, I can pull you. Right. Like, if you come... You have a little lead. Okay, good, good. Good, good, good. You win the trade, perfect. And not only you win the trade, but also you finish pushing the way, so now I can't freeze on you anymore. Okay, let's both buy items. Okay. Uh -huh. So now you gotta be really careful when I get six, and you also get six, right? Yeah. My ult is usually stronger than yours. Yeah, because mine's mo just a displacer more than anything, than actual damage. Unless I'm, you know, ulting a Cho'Gath or something. So there you pulled me in. So you could have W my Q so it does no damage, right? Yeah. Remember. You wanna W the moment that does more damage. Now be careful because okay, there you have six and I don't, so you could be more aggressive, but when I get six, I am gonna be aggressive. Perfect, perfect. Perfect. No no no. <laughs> Bro, imagine if in League you could like voice chat the enemy top laner when you play. Oh my god, I, I have been saying for a long time. It would be, be so fucking chat. good, man. <laughs> like trash tag in all lane. And only you hear each other, nobody else. Like, you know, proximity. Oh, voice. yeah, proximity. Oh, proximity chat in League would be fucking hilarious. So even though I'm lower HP, I actually have ult and you don't, so. Okay, good. Going in when I miss my E. That still hit me? <laughs> so see, even yeah. though I'm one level behind and I'm super low HP and everything, because you have no yeah. cooldowns and I do, I still go in aggressive, see? So it's always waiting for that window. Earlier I was missing my E, so you could see if you could like uh, be aggressive and you were aggressive, perfect. But then when you have no right. more W, no more E, no more Q, then you should respect me, right? 
Mm -hmm. It's like a turn-based game. It's like when you have something versus when you don't have something. Right, right. All right, so do you want to do a live game now? Yeah, sure. Okay, let's see if you play all of this. After I go through my all my sessions with you, I think I might buy a few more for jungle to, you know. Oh, yeah, jungle is the, the role that in my server people claim the, the most. Like my highest chance. Uh, really? Percent, yeah, 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 yeah. It's like the highest chance of the highest percent of success claiming because it's so easy to follow a plan that I will give you and I played every game and claim. It's also a role where people have claimed the most Tilo. Like I had students that claim from gold to grandmaster, from silver to diamond two, silver to diamond <laughs> one, all in the jungle. If you do, like I suggest Metafy with Patreon discount because it's like with Patreon you get 50% off and in Metafy it's like already like a third cheaper than Fiverr. So it's much cheaper. Damn. Yeah, it's like way cheaper than anything. Yeah, I'll definitely do that next time. <laughs> Not that I don't want to give you my money, but like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I watched that set versus Alawi video that you sent me, and <laughs> I just chuckled because he kind of gets beat up early, and I I, I just kind of laugh. It's like, hey, that's what happens to me. So it's not it's not just uh, low elo set players that get beat up by Alawi. It's masters. Right, players. but it's also about knowing what the enemy champion does because the other reason I was yeah. beating you up is not only abusing the cooldown window, but also knowing exactly what your champion does. Yeah, that's fair. Knowing what every champion does is help it helps you a lot. There you can engage, right? There we go. You could have ghosted, yeah. Flash. Oh, if you flash, you would have killed him. But see how much that matters? Really easy. Yeah. I would love to, but like. <laughs> okay, now you can. Yeah. And remember, he doesn't have flash anymore. Perfect. That's what I mean. See, he doesn't have flash. He doesn't yeah. have the pool. He doesn't have abilities. Right? Oh, I got scared. <laughs> uh, yeah, you would have killed her because she's level 2 and you're almost 4, remember? Oh, you killed her, you killed her. Ah. Oh. How did that I got, I'm you? getting cheated out here. Okay, finish pushing that and then let's re-go. W. There we go. Yeah, so you ho when you are the one chasing, you use the W when the guy is leaving, right? When you are the one yeah. receiving damage, you use the W at the highest damage point. Yeah. You can trade again. There we go. This time he should die, actually. So next T, you could try to die, but I don't know if he kills, actually, because he might have ult again. If you ult him against the tower. When I say push, it's use everything, right? E, the all your Q, like Mort is not in the lane, so you don't care. Stun, he doesn't have pull anymore. Don't all in, just that's enough, that's enough. That's enough. Dodge the pull, he will pull. Oh. That's not what I meant. Because you don't have stun anymore. Uh, or W, I mean. So there, what yeah. you do is wait. You you ulted him with no W cooldown, right? Mm -hmm. So you win that if you had W cooldown, but if you ult him without W cooldown, he wins. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Also that, but but it's mainly not not waiting for the W cooldown there. If you ult him with you not having W cooldown, like your trade was really good. It was perfect because he doesn't heal as much as you. You have insane amount of sustain. So mm. Remember what I told you. You don't need to go for a lean full HP. First do a couple trades, get him low, you heal up, regen everything, and then you kill him. Mm -hmm. You don't need to all in 100 to 0. Your champion is better if you use your passive. Like in these trades, you're never using your passive because you're never allowing yeah. your champion to heal. You can take tower maybe. Mordekaiser is mid, so take this chance to 
By the way, if you want to learn jungle from me, you will unlock the camera. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's. I've been trying to. When I when I play jungle, because yeah, you gotta see what's in the lane before you fucking walk up there. Yep, hundred percent. Gold, really rich right now. Fighter, 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 fighter. You kill her. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love being a shit. <laughs> but remember that your champion is cool when you are getting engaged. Nobody can chase you like that, remember that? Yeah. Like, the only weakness your champion has is that you can't reach people. So if you, they are reaching you, they are doing all the job. They are, you have no weakness at that point. Yeah, correct, correct. Doing pretty good. All inhibitors are open. Ghost. the kind of fight that I like. <laughs> Two men fighting to the death. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck the Nexus, just fight to the death. The next one, the, the one who wins will be the king of Wakanda. Yeah, exactly. <laughs>